Welcome whiskey aficionados, it's Trevor and this is review number 40. Uh, it's a mini malt milestone. Tonight, um, as promised, we're going to look at the Devil's Cut, which is 45% or 90% proof. It's a Jim Beam uh, product. Of course, uh, Jim Beam now, uh, owned by Suntory, the, the Beam Global brand. And uh, Suntory um, are actually responsible for, I've written a few down actually, um, just on the whiskey front, Teachers, Kilbegan, Yamagazi, Canadian Club, Lafroy, Beaumore, Ardmore, Connemara, um, they do bourbons, they do vodkas as well and other, other liqueurs, but um, Makers, Mark, all the Jim, Jim Beam range obviously, Knob Creek, Old Crow, Booker's, and many more. So, you know, uh, Suntory are, well, globe killers I guess. So uh, they're really doing uh, doing a lot, and uh, you know I think it's being listed now on the New York Stock Exchange as 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 Bean Global. So um, yeah, big things. Anyway, I've got some here. Just had a little bit left in this uh, this bottle to try, so it's very nicely presented. And of course, Devil's Cut, a um, little bit of a marketing play on the Angel's Share. The Devil's Cut, you see where they're going. Poured some earlier, just to let it, uh, you know, sit a little while, see if it makes any difference. Um, it's certainly got a very, very dark type of uh, dark caramel sort of color, um, which is very, very nice. Uh, you do find a lot of the bourbons um, have a darker color because of the the, the virgin oak barrels, you know, that that they're matured in. Let's look. It's obviously got no age statement on this, but that's not, not particularly unusual. It'll be a minimum of six years. On the nose, very strong oak smell, a woody oak sort of smell. We've got vanilla. It's fruity. It smells sort of powerful, I guess. And on the taste, Well, it's, it's very full-bodied. Um, you can certainly taste that alcohol at uh, you know 90 proof or 45 percent. Um, it's sweet. You've got that vanilla. There's lots of that um, oaky sort of taste. It is a very, very. It's the most oaky um, sort of either whiskey or bourbon I've ever tasted. Very, very strong. Um, there's dark fruits in there, and. Uh, even, you know, a very, very touch of a sort of very slight bitterness coming in at the end, but let's try again. It is nice um, just drinking it straight like that. On the water front, I mean, I don't actually think water agrees with bourbon as much as it agrees with some of the whiskies, but um, never ever let someone um, on any kind of review, blog, book, don't let them tell you to add water. Do it for yourself, experiment, and uh, you know, really make your own choice because what I like is not what you're going to like, etc. etc. On the finish with this one, it's certainly sweet, it's got that strong oak sort of taste, and there's a very, very light sort of spice um, which lasts and it is a long finish. I would have to say that this is in the region of 83 out of 100, you know, which is a good mark. Um, it is drinking, uh, it is drinkable straight. I wouldn't drink that as an everyday sort of uh, dram. And usually, you would find that this type of product uh, would be mixed with something. Um, I don't know what, but uh, could be Coke or something like that. Now, subscribe to the channel because um, in review number 41, 
we are going to look at a commercial uh, brand which has hit the shelves over the last sort of year that I've noticed here in New Zealand at least called Label 5 and um, it's obviously a Scottish blend so that's going to be review 41. Until then, be safe, drink safe, quality over quantity every time guys. Cheers.